Hello, in this video I will be showing you a e-bike kit installation on a Schwinn bike. This installation will be for the rear wheel and we will be using a drag drive motor which weighs about 8 pounds. These kits come with the rims, uh, double walled aluminum rims, already mounted on the motor and in every kit the controller throttle either twist or thumb uh, a controller bag just like the one over here uh, for the rear conversions a free wheel uh, sprocket that will be mounted on the wheel um, the brake levers like those with cutoff switches are all included. On our kits there are no batteries yet so we don't include any batteries you will need to get your own battery depending on the voltage of the kit that you purchased. So going through the box we have already seen the freewheel sprocket, the brake levers, the box and here's the pedal assist sensor the pickup and the magnetic ring that will be mounted on your pedal and moving on to the second box where the controller is so basically this is an AC motor it's a, a brushless AC motor and accordingly we need to use a speed controller for it and here's a that, that's a 350 watt controller there the thro uh, yeah the throttles this one's a twist throttle uh, you can always purchase a or choose actually a thumb throttle if you prefer to use one and this is an LED display which control which powers on the whole unit and which shows you the battery there are also LCD units which shows the speed and which looks a little fancy but they all do the same thing. Well, those LCD units also track your uh, mileage, uh, so that's that becomes your automator. And this is the motor here. The rims already mounted. This is a 26 inch. No, that's a 700 wheel. Our shoe is a 700 700C. So starting starting the conversion, what we first do is that to put the bike upside down, take the rear wheel out, loosen up the brakes, which I didn't show, but you need to loosen the brakes so that you can take the wheel out, and then you loosen the nuts on the hub. Just free the chain and simply pull it out. You need to deflate the wheel, I mean the tire, just take all the air out make sure it's soft now it will only take a few seconds and either get your tools or if you're if you have enough practice you can just use your fingers you can take the wheel off the rim it took me a while to do it because I didn't have the plastic tools to change the wheel uh, I ended up using a screwdriver which I was uh, I was cautious about it because I, I could just uh, rip the inner t uh, inner tube but it turned out to be fine so no rips it's still fine uh, yeah at this step we put the freewheel on the motor just hand tighten it uh, as soon as you start pedaling on the bike it will tighten itself every time you pedal it will tighten even further so putting it on it on the on the motor is no big deal. Just make sure the threads match, so you don't uh, you don't damage the threads basically. Now putting the wheel on the new rim with the motor. Uh, start from the well. You can find actually better instructions on doing this. I can't call myself a pro at all, <laughs> but still figuring it out took less than ten minutes. A little bit practice. It's basically what you do, and what you see is what needs to be done. You just 
triangle on the sides and starting from one side working on each side go to the top or the other other direction or other 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 end and here we go the whole tires on the rim just make sure is everything is uh, like nothing's popping out basically the inner tire is not popping out anywhere uh, there are no balloons when you when you uh, inflate it well yeah first inflate that tire before putting it or yeah before trying to put it on the wheel I did not show you that one but I inflated the tire and make sure nothing pops out because it may if you don't put it properly so once you make sure the tire is inflated properly and everything seems round enough <laughs> Uh, start putting the wheel on it, wheel on the bike. This is, this will take some time. It took me about, again, like 10 minutes probably. Uh, so I'm just jumping on the video as you will realize soon. You will need to open up the like spread those openings on the dropouts so that you can fit that wheel it will be slightly larger than your previous wheel most likely because there's a motor and the free well most like just because there's a motor it will be what like five millimeters maybe at most larger than your original wheel so you will have to pull those dropouts in opposite direction in order to fit it in fit the new motor in at this point when you're putting it into dropouts uh, make sure the brakes are actually aligning if not you can adjust those later make sure it's straight it's, it's the wheel is sitting straight along uh, along with the body of the bicycle and once you make sure everything looks fine then tighten up the bolts on each side and put this uh, the chain on basically and there we go that was all